Well, you guys got another video. If you run a Windows system, you should change these Windows settings right now. The reason why is because Microsoft will always update your drivers on your PC for you. Now, unfortunately, they don't do a very good job of updating your graphics drivers and it can cause major problems to you down the line. So it's always best to uh, disable these and do it manually yourself. So the first thing to do is go into the registry editor and from here we need to navigate to this location right here. H key local machine, open this up and then come down and go down to where it says software and click on that. Open this one up right here and then we want to come down to where it says policies. Open this up and then from there go Microsoft. Open this one up here and then we want to come down to where it says Windows. Once you get into the Windows directory here, we need to right click and add a new key because we need to prevent Microsoft from updating our drivers for us and take back control. So right click on the Windows folder, go new and go key, and then we can give this key a name. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this Windows Update, just as you see right here. And once we've created that key, we can then go inside of that folder on the right hand pane here and create a new D word 32 bit value. So that's what we want to do here. So let's go ahead and go to the right hand pane. So we're going to right click on the blank space here, go new D word 32 bit value, and we need to give this a name. So let's go ahead and give it a name. So we're going to call this exclude W U drivers and also in quality update. So we want to make sure we put it exactly like that. So once you've done that, you can then push enter and we can now double click on this to open up a window, right? This one here and edit the value. So we're going to give this a value of one and this will tell Windows or Microsoft to exclude drivers from being downloaded and installed during the Windows update process. So we're trying to tell it not to do that. So let's go ahead and add one more uh, key here. So we're going to go to H key local machine here and we're going to navigate to the next location. So go back into software, open this up and we're going to go back down to where it says policies here, open this one up here, Microsoft. And then we're going to go back down to uh, this area here, windows, and we need to create another new key. So let's go ahead and right click on the windows uh, directory here and create a new key for this area. So go right click new key and we need to give this key a name. So let's go ahead and give it a name. Now this is driver searching that we need to uh, create here. So let's go ahead and type that out. So driver searching just like so. And now we need to go over to the right hand pane inside driver searching and create a new D word 32 bit value. So let's go ahead and do that. So inside that directory there, right click new D word 32 bit value, and we need to give this a name. So we're going to call this driver update wizard and windows update search and then enabled. And what we're going to do is leave this as zero. So we don't need to, do anything with the value here so just leave that as is and that's that one taken care of so we've got those done and uh, what we can do is to make sure that windows doesn't uh, override this and change any of these settings then i'll show you what we can do next so let's just close off our registry here keep it nice and tidy close that off and we can move on to the next step the next step is to go into group policy now if you do have windows 11 pro and above, you can use the group policy editor as well. So let me show you this here, just in case you're on Windows 11 Pro and above. Open up the group policy editor by typing GP edit in the search and then go to compute configuration, administrative templates, and then come down to where it says Windows components. And inside here, we're gonna come down and what we're looking for is the area down here which says Windows Update. So we need to look for Windows Update and we're inside that directory now. So on the right hand pane, once you're inside here, we need to look for Manage Updates offered uh, from Windows Update. So that's where we need to be right here. 
And what you'll see inside that directory is basically a bunch of settings that we can change. And there's only one that we need to change, and that is this one right here. Do not include drivers with Windows updates. This will stop updates from coming down, and this will be all your graphics uh, driver updates and all that sort of stuff. So what we can do here is enable this feature, enable this policy to not include drivers from Windows quality updates. So that's what we need to do. So that's one that's already now done. I just want to show you another location here that you can try as well to uh, set as well. So right click on your start and go to run and type in here SYS and we want to do DM and then dot CPL and then push enter. And this will open up this little box here. From here, we're going to go to hardware and we're going to basically turn off that feature. It is buried inside here, but you can see right here, device installation settings, choose whether Windows downloads manufacturers, uh, apps and custom icons available for your devices. And we want to do no, your device might not work as expected. Now, the reason why you want to be doing this is because, like I said, if you need a driver, you can go to the manufacturer's website and download the drivers from there. Sometimes Microsoft doesn't keep their systems updated with all the latest drivers, and you can end up putting a driver on that causes a problem. And I've had it, especially with graphics drivers, where you're having some major issues with it, and it's easier to do it this way, to go to NVIDIA's website or uh, AMD's website and download the very latest drivers from there, or have it set up in some of their uh, applications that they use. It's better to use it that way. And Microsoft have done a lot better over the years for giving you updates straight out of the box when you install Windows, but unfortunately, they don't keep this updated and it can install uh, you know, some really old drivers that aren't uh, compatible and you can end up with some problems, but it isn't their issue and they'll put it onto you and make you have to work out why it's happening. So it's much easier to just go to the manufacturer's website or maybe download some driver software that you like to use and use that if you want to use that particular method. It's entirely up to you. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. My name is Ben Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I really do appreciate the support and I shall catch you on the Discord server for a chat or I'll see you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.